Before the start of tonight's Penguins Capitals game, there was an awesome moment. During the warm ups, Ovechkin came up to Latang and checked in on him, and this was just, just great to see. For those that don't know, Latang has had a tough go at things. He suffered his second stroke this year, where he missed five games just to come back and get sidelined again after sustaining a lower body injury. Then his father passed away. Just terrible stuff. Now the entire Penguins team, for those that don't know, after playing the Coyotes earlier this month, traveled up to Montreal to be with Chris and his family for the funeral, which tells you how close-knit this team is. But these two teams have been rivals for so long, they've become well-versed with each other. And so to see Ovi coming up to Latang like this, again, it was just, it was pretty awesome to see. Now, as for the game itself, this was a big one, with these two tied at 56 points for the wildcard spot in the East, so a big two points on the table. And again, the rivals that they are, as a Penn fan, this wasn't one I was going to miss. Getting the night started in the first, on the power play, the Capitals cycle the puck, but pay attention to Ovechkin here. He sets up in the circle and then just stands there. I almost think it's confusing to cover, honestly, because it's so odd, but sure enough, Poling collapses and leaves Ovechkin uncovered for a split second, but it's enough for them to score. Kuznetsov recognizing Ovi is open, and yeah, Ovi gets him up in the same way I swear we've literally seen hundreds of times at this point. Just crazy to see, honestly. Now, the first was pretty lopsided overall and the Capitals outshot Pittsburgh 22 to 7 but that was the lone goal for the first so over to the second we go in the second less than three minutes in entering the zone O'Connor puts it on net hits the post and Heinen is there to pick up the rebound to tie it up great to see him scoring another one here and in the second the Pens appeared to wake up as they outshot the Caps 18 to 12 in what was a clean period of five on five hockey without a single penalty but that was all the scoring for the second so off to the last period we go just five minutes in the Capitals get into the pen zone. Backstrom leaves it for Johansson and they take back the lead as Johansson just rips a wrister long range over the glove of the Smith on one he probably should have. Then as we begin to near the end of the third the Penguins break out on a three on two. Gensel gets it up to Rust who enters the zone and he scores to tie it up again as he just beats Camper glove side clean getting his 300th career point for Rust on a beautiful shot here. Now three periods solve nothing so we head to overtime. It was a wild overtime. Malkin got a tripping penalty, and in overtime, that's often a death sentence, but the Penguins did a great job to kill it off, and yeah, it was just a very exciting overtime. Dumoulin had a great opportunity. I wish he would have just put it on net, but overtime didn't solve anything either, so we go to the shootout. The Capitals shooting first, send up Oshi. He comes in. Deeks goes to the backhand, but gets shut down. Interestingly, the puck did end up in the net after DeSmith stood up, but making contact, the ref called it dead, so it was not a goal. Next up, Raquel for the Pens goes wild wide fakes and he scores on a nice one. Kuznetsov up next comes from way back and then as he gets up to the line completely slows down. This is a very odd one but he comes in so slow to Smith makes the first move and Kuznetsov beats him. Crosby up next comes pretty much down the middle puts a glove side but gets shut down. Backstrom up next with a chance to go up, comes down and beats the Smith low blocker right above the pad, and this now all came down to Malkin. Needing to score, he comes in, head fakes, he shoots, and Kemper is able to stop him with the blocker as the Capitals take the win, beating out the Penguins for what may end up being a crucial point here. As expected, this was definitely a fun one, but as a Pens fan, you just hate to see the loss here. Too many overtimes and shootouts this year for the Penguins for sure, if you ask me. Now, these two play each other just one more time this year in March, so I'll be looking forward to that. But that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.